Hello there, Julian Plus here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we are gonna learn how to create a 3D map with the help of the DJI Mini 2 drone and the software called Agisoft MetaShape Professional. Hope you will enjoy it like I did. Let's get into it. Okay, so after connecting our DJI Mini 2 drone to the controller, we will need to start the app DJI Fly from our devices. After doing so, we will need to press Go Fly. Then we will press the 4K, the photo, and then the timed shot, and we choose 5 seconds shot. Okay, so here are my, my photos. So as you can see, the coverage is at least 70%, which I recommend you. So every time you took the pictures, you love to make sure you have at least 70% coverage on each photo. After doing this, we go to Agisoft MetaShape Professional and from there we choose Workflow and Add Photos. And we go to the folder where we have the photos and we, we bring them in, into the app. After doing this, we'll have to go to Workflow again and then Align Photos and we choose high from here we, we will choose high and we will choose uh, we will go to advance and we leave it as it is and press ok now we have to wait several minutes until the process is finishing ok here we go here we have we have the point cloud. Now we, we go again to workflow. Then we press the build dance cloud. And we leave it on medium. And we, we press OK again. We'll have to wait another minute or two. Okay, okay. We've got the, the dance cloud and then we go again to the workflow and we have to press build mesh button. In here we leave everything as it is and we press OK again. And now as you can see we have the, the whole uh, 3D map uh, built so we can we can have a look and play a bit with it the quality of the 3d map depends on uh, how many pictures do you take with your drone because i took uh, about 35 36 pictures but if you take for example maybe at least 50 pictures you can obviously see a really really big difference because the the 3d map will be much much better we go ahead with our process we go back to workflow and then we click on the build texture button and we leave everything as it is and we press ok again wait a few few minutes and then we have a textured 3d map which from my point of view looks decent now we can create like a movie presentation for the for the whole 3d map and if we are happy with it we can uh, export it on our computer if your photos are not so bright we can choose the brightness of the photos going to tools and then we choose set brightness and i choose the estimate button to decide was the the best for for my pictures and I'm happy with it so I press apply and then OK and as you can see the images are brighter if you find useful the video I create please don't hesitate to subscribe on my channel to like my channel and share it with your friends thank you very much and see you on the next one